my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a video on how I take my selfies, any tips and tricks, what I think about when I take my selfies. Um, I have a lot of selfies up on Instagram, like everything is basically selfies. And so I know you guys had voted on wanting to see this video, so here it is. I am also a model, so this is a lot of the tricks that I have picked up through like years of modeling on how to sort of look good in portraits, selfies, that kind of thing. And so I'm just gonna jump right in and roll through the tips and then just show you guys like how I do it too. So jumping right in, the very first tip that I have is lighting. You obviously want good lighting. I would recommend white light instead of that like warm yellow light. Make sure you don't get like brilliant white though because that can be unnatural. I think the best bet is standing in front of a window on sort of like a shaded day or where the sun isn't shining directly at you. That creates the, like natural light is always the best. Um, artificial light is great too, but you want the light to be coming at you from like in front of your face. You don't want the light to be overhead because that is going to give you really ugly shadows um, under your eyes, especially like it might do something for your contour, but that's what like makeup is for. Like you don't want bags under your eyes from overhead lighting. So make sure your lights are actually in front of you. Like you don't want them to be above. You don't want them to be below, like literally in front of you in sort of like some even fashion. So whether that's two, one on each side, one in the center, like however you want to do it, make sure it's actually in front of you. So that's why uh, like in front of a window on an overcast day or where the sun's not directly shining really helps because you get like an entire pane of light. So second tip, very similar to that first one, is you want the camera or your phone directly in front of you as well. So I personally take all of my selfies using my front facing iPhone camera and I have the iPhone XS. I find that it is great for taking selfies, but not really great for when you want to take like the close up detail shots, but I don't do a ton of those. So I just do like, you know, where's my phone? I literally will take my phone and just kind of go like this in front of me. And the way you angle your phone is kind of how you can get the angles that you want. But you like, we are all guilty of this in middle school where we just like love to take photos from up here. And then you just like, at you know, when you're taking photos from up here, you're like looking up at the camera and like that gives you like wrinkles on your forehead. You look like a crazy lady because your mouth is like super small, your chin is super small, and your forehead's super big. Do not like stop taking pictures from like upward angles. That is not flattering. Take them from right in front of you. Okay, so the third tip that I have for you, probably like the most important tip aside for the lighting, is how to like reduce this double chin that everybody gets like i don't care how skinny you are there's a way for you to get a double chin this works the best actually if you're taking it head on like this you want your to angle your head just a little bit downward but not obviously not super down so that, like you're getting that kind of double chin effect but the tip is to extend your face towards the camera and this is going to sound really weird. You're going to feel like a turtle, but I swear this works. So for me, if I'm just like kind of sitting on my own, this is kind of how I like normally am. You can kind of see that I have like a little bit of sun down here, you know, but if I extend my head towards the camera and I can like kind of hold this all day and it just makes me look like I have a better defined chin. When in reality, like if you look at me from the side, I literally look like this. And it's like, yes, it's not comfortable, but that's how you play to your angles. Like you want to extend it towards the camera. It kind of does work as well if you're like kind of on the side. Like for me, I kind of get this thing. So then I like will kind of push my head towards the camera. But when you're at an angle, you don't want to push it quite as far because it becomes really obvious. Um, if you are kind of facing your camera, you can push it out quite a bit further to get that to kind of go away because that just like stretches. Um, also, this tip works better for some people than others. It just depends on how your face is structured. But if you, um, if you press your tongue against the roof of your mouth, it actually can help as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. For me, it's not, it doesn't help all that much, so I don't typically do it because I feel like when I do it, I hold my breath and then like I want to pass out. But those are like the tips to like kind of helping getting rid of some of the extra stuff you have down there. 
So tip number four that I have is like how to make kind of this area look good. Um, for some people like me, like I don't have collarbones that naturally pop out a ton. And then my neck is like an okay length. It's not super long, but it's not super short. So this is kind of, you know, pick one slash try really hard to do both. But to elongate your neck, everybody, like it's always better to have a longer neck in photos. It, it's going to feel weird. Everything feels weird in modeling, by the way, but you want to drop your shoulders. Like usually if I'm walking around, I'm kind of like this, but if I am taking pictures, I will actually like push my shoulders down. That way it makes my neck seem a lot longer. And if you want to like tilt your head, you know, if you, if I drop my left shoulder, tilt my head to the right, do you see how much longer that makes my neck look? Like you want to be able to like just drop your shoulders that way it kind of stretches everything down and then you're pushing your head forward and so it just like is stretching your body in different ways to kind of make that more flattering. For your collarbones, some people when they drop their shoulders the collarbones start to pop out if that's what you want. Some people though they kind of have to push their shoulders forward a little bit like me like I have to push my shoulders forward a little bit to get that collarbone to pop out. So it just depends on like what angle I am you know if if I'm pushing my shoulders forward, it can look awkward as well, but it's kind of like a fine balance between dropping your shoulders and then pushing them a little bit forward to get those collarbones to pop out to elongate your neck. That will help make your face look a little bit, you know, have more shape and a little bit skinnier. Tip number five is to actually look in the mirror first before you take a selfie. So for me, for some reason, when, so okay, the other tip is like just to relax, like don't be tense about it. For me, when I relax my lips, they're actually kind of asymmetrical. My bottom lip tends to rest more to the right. Do you see how it's like more to the right? So I have to, when I take a selfie, like really think to myself like, okay, remember you have to move your lower lip to the left so that it actually looks even. And so those are just like things you want to think about when you are examining your own face. Like what part is asymmetrical? What part do you want to like fix? or give the illusion that it isn't kind of the way it is in real life and you know like I don't think this is bad this is not photoshop this is just like you using your knowledge of your face to kind of make your selfie look the way you want it to for me I have one eye that is not as hooded as the other this one is super hooded and so I love to do cut creases because it makes my eyes look even but the problem is that also means that at certain angles, if I open my eyes really wide, you can tell that like there is still more eyeshadow on this side. And so that's why I always keep my eyes kind of in a half open state. And that's why it really helps when you're taking your photo in front of you that if your eyes are half open and you actually lift your head, you get to see the eyeshadow and still see your eyes. So that's kind of why I'm always kind of at like an upward angle with my eyes kind of halfway open because I just feel like that's my most flattering angle and you can still see all of my eyeshadow even though my eyes are hooded um, and then like my eyes are still open. So the last tip that I have is sort of to help draw attention to the areas that you want attention to. So for me, I want the attention to be on my makeup, on my face. So I will always just wear like a very plain shirt. If I wear something with like lots of ruffles, lots of colors, it will distract from the face. So I'm always wearing a black tank top. You might have noticed that I, especially on Instagram, I'm almost always wearing a black tank top. Also, my hair is black, which really helps um, with the whole black thing. But using your hair to your advantage if i don't care if you have short hair long hair like find the way that your hair looks best and then use it to your advantage so for example for me at certain angles so like you probably can't see but i am really self-conscious about like my armpit fat like squeezing out in um ugly ways basically and so sometimes when i'm taking my selfies if i know that this portion is going to be visible i will kind of just put my hair over it and it's like problem solved it doesn't even exist um, but I, you probably can't do that if you have shorter hair. So a tip if you actually have shorter hair is when you push your, um, shoulder forward, that actually helps as well. Make sure your shirt is not too tight. If your shirt is too tight, it will like constrict and you will look like a sausage no matter what weight you are. And so once you're pushing your shoulders forward, it should help with that a little bit, kind of lifting it up a little bit, pushing it forward because when you're kind of relaxed, it, it kind of wants to squish together. So up a little bit, forward a little bit, and it should help with that. Otherwise, for some people, leaning it further back helps as well. But then I like to pull my tank top closer to the side just to make it look like I don't have a ton of space, like kind of right here. Anyway, that was like totally off topic. 
But yeah, use your hair to your advantage. If you're self-conscious about your ears, you can cover them, you can show them, you can accessorize if you want. Like if I forget to put in earrings, I will almost always just like cover my ears. Sometimes I, like I have a very round squarish face and I'm sometimes self-conscious about my cheeks. So sometimes I'll just put my hair forward like this. Do you see how that makes my hair, my face look like it's longer? But you can still see my makeup, like even at this angle, it looks like, you know, my cheeks aren't as wide as like, you know, they seriously are. But that's just how you kind of like play with your angles, play with your hair, accessorize. Don't wear chunky necklaces if you don't want the attention there. So yeah, that is like my spoken tips. I'm just going to real quick show you guys um, kind of like my setup as well. Okay, so I apologize if this lighting is a little weird. I have now moved down to one light. When I film, I have two box lights right now. I only take selfies using one. So I personally use a softbox. You can't really see it. It's really bright. But it is a softbox. I will link it as well down below. I also have a ring light somewhere. For some reason, I just like the box light better. Probably because it's already set up. My ring light is torn apart. But, okay, so do you notice how the light is right in front of me? And I'm going to be holding my phone kind of just like this. So I'm also going to try to record my phone screen and pop it somewhere here so you can see. But I generally take like 50 selfies per look to get on Instagram. I know it's excessive, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So um, for me, do you see what I mean? Like, I don't know, this armpit fat, I don't know. I'm so like self-conscious about it. But I am basically like kind of using my hair to my advantage. I am kind of looking up at an angle. I am kind of half closing my eyes that way you can still see my irises and you can still see the eyeshadow look that I have. And also you guys want to make sure that you're looking at your actual camera and not at like the screen because then it looks like you're not making eye contact. And you just want to make sure you're like relaxing your jaws and for me I am kind of poking my head out a little bit as well and depending on how where you are in relation to the light I really hope my phone recording is working but you do see how my highlight is like popping at different angles so it all depends as well on like what you're trying to highlight on your face if it's like my highlight, then I want to take it at this angle. If it's my eyeshadow, then I want to take it straight on. And I always kind of use one hand and with the other one, I'm like dropping my shoulders and kind of all everything that I like already talked about. So I don't know if you can tell that I'm like poking my head out. That is literally the biggest tip, you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna bother like resetting up my lights, but that is it for my selfie video. I hope that was helpful. I, you know, if I change the way I do it, I can definitely upload a different one. This light is like really harsh on my actual DSLR, so sorry about that. But I hope you have actually enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, DM me on Instagram. As always, I love talking to you guys. Um, but other than that, have a great day. Bye.